What is crack lacking guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors. We have just arrived here in Walker, Minnesota. We are uh, coming up here for a couple days of fishing. We are staying in this Magnum thing here from Trapper's Landing. Huge shout out to Josh, he's the man. Hooked us up for a couple days. I mean, look at the size of this thing. I don't, I don't know how big exactly it is. I think it's like 24 footer. It's massive. And um, it's gonna be me, Murray, Brett, and um, Josh from Pig Patrol and Boo. I think they're both coming up tonight. Try and get on some of these burbs. That's what we're here to do, is get some burbs tonight and then hopefully catch some perch tomorrow. I'm probably gonna head out to the main lake today for the rest of, for the rest of today and see if we can find some pout out there. But uh, let's uh, take a glimpse in this sucker, huh? Here we go, wipe, get the feet to wipe off. This is a monster, look at this beauty. I'm not talking about the fish house either. Shout out Trapper's Landing. Yeah, Josh is the man. We got, uh, looks like a leather L couch right here. I might sleep there, you never know. Stove, huge TV. Murray doing cool video things. Make sure you check that out. Um, this is this is the king's chair. Look at this sucker. It's a drink holder. She's ready to fly. And um, over here we got a table. I can see some... Uh, perch. Murray's already fishing perch, but uh, tonight I can see some card games getting played on this huge table and uh, some drinks being drank. Looks like we got two flip, uh, flip down beds in here. This thing is an absolute beauty. Monster. I mean, how big is this thing? 10 by 22. 10 by 22. So we're going to have a lot of fun here for, for tonight and then I'll be fishing all day tomorrow too. So I'm going to get some stuff unloaded and probably head out. Do some chase some bourbon on the on the bigger part of the lake. See if we can get on some of those before it gets dark. Got a couple hours, so you guys stay tuned. We are back in the truck on the move already. Driving down the ice road. This thing's a monster. And um, we're going to head out. See if we can find us some pout. Brett's out here somewhere. Trying some spots already. So we're just going to keep hopping around. Looking for steep breaks next to deep water. See if we can get on some of these greasy pout. Never fished pout on Leech Lake, so... This is a first for me. I heard there's a lot of them out here and they are uh, pretty cool looking. But they got a little bit different color from where I'm from. So I'm looking to catch a few tonight. So you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna Baja this truck all the way across this lake if I have to, until I do find them. I already almost got stuck in a huge snow drift, but it's all good. Keep her moving. Alrighty, guys, as you can probably tell, it is getting dark. I am on spot six or seven. I have no idea. I haven't seen a burbot yet. And it is getting cold. It is now 6.30. I think I started fishing around 4.30 or something like that. So we've been at it for a couple hours. Murray's got nothing in the house. Brett's got nothing out here. He's tried probably six or seven spots as, as well. And um, I look good for the burbs tonight, guys. So. That's all right, we got a full day again tomorrow and into tomorrow night, so I'm not scared just yet. Tomorrow we're probably gonna hunt some crappies, some bluegills, and some perch. Maybe some whitefish, I don't know yet, but right now, we gotta find these burbs. That is not what I'm looking for. Is this perch, man? Is this perch, man? Oh, what? Dang. <laughs> Buddy's lucky I don't eat that sucker. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a burb. That's a skinny burb. Oh my god, he's a toothpick. Oh, oh man, that he's thing. someone else's line. Hopefully he spawned out. Or, oh my, dude, their patterns are tight though, like really small mm -hmm. patterns. Holy cow, chalked it. There. Here we go. Snake. First one I've seen up close. Sweet. So they're real. They're real in Leech Lake, guys. They're here. On. It's, it's tiny. I gotta get this light on, if possible. Hang on, there we go. It's it's definitely tiny, but dude, it's my first burb. It, oh my god, it's it's tiny. Oh man, they're cool looking out here though. God, they're lime green, dude. 
so weird how they change from lake to lake like that. Well, I was just pounding bottom, not even paying attention. Like always. Sweet, he barely nipped it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I'm so happy. That makes my night complete. Look at the cool patterns on this guy. They're like a weird yellowish neon color where we're from. They're more like a dark brown color, but he's got a lot of marks on his belly. He's been, been rubbing the bottom, I see. Switched up to a monster uh, monster uh, pout and trout there. The spoon. Brett's rocking the jig head. Give him the old one. Another craw? And let me tell you guys, we are hammering crowd ads. So if you're looking for a hot crowd ad bite, Le Leech Lake, we're on them. All right, sweet. My first Leech Lake pout. Hopefully not my last. Brett's caught three, caught one. All right. Back to stealth mode, lights going off. Drapping down. All right guys, we're just gonna head back to the house. Me and Brett are getting wrapped up out here. We got uh, four burbot on our last spot of the night. It was already dark once we showed up out here. So we might try it again tomorrow, we might not. We're gonna probably chase some other fish tomorrow. But for now, let's head back to the house, see what Murray's doing. Maybe we'll catch some burbot there. Maybe we'll catch some perch, I don't know. You guys take it. We are back in the house. Murray and Brett just ran to uh, pick up Josh and Boo, I think, at the landing. Let me get this rattle reel out of my way. What do you get? It's a weird jig, but uh, we're going to get that out of the way. Probably going to fish out of this hole right here for a while. I don't know how much fishing is really going to happen tonight. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens there, but if we do catch some fish, obviously I will be turning on the camera and uh, getting stuff ready, but for now, I need to get out of this gear, get set up, and uh, maybe grease a couple more fish. What is up, guys? We are back. I'm talking, I think I left you guys off last night at, I might show you something cool. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Um, I had some fun, put the camera down, but now today it's time to get serious. Murray's already here, looking down. Wow, that was aggressive. And uh, Josh and Ashley showed up. So I'm gonna, that was that was wild. You guys are exotic. And uh, we got slippery stairs. There's the man. There he is. Josh is here now. And uh, I think we're gonna go out and try to find some fish today. Where'd Brett go? He already had it here maybe. But the goal for me today is trying to find some whitefish. The house is not in an ideal situation, so pretty much using it as a base camp at this point. And uh, we're gonna go rip this lake up, cheese grate it, find some whiteies, find some perch. Try and get on something cool, so. As of now, I got nothing planned. You got anything planned? We've got nothing planned. As of now, we're just looking for fish. Hoping for a good day, so you guys stay tuned. Oh shit. All right guys, just got up to the first spot I'm gonna try today. Looking for some white fish. Just scanning around with the band app. It's just giving her a good scan. If I know anything about whiteies, which I don't. I'm just gonna need something flashy, something silver. All right, I am rigged up. Got uh, just a little silver spoon here. Let's start with that. Let's see if we can uh, find some of these white fish. I think you just use a piece of metal. Could be wrong on that, but yeah, just gonna do it just like walleyes, I guess. Just go to the middle head. And uh, grab the vex there. Just a tulipy. That's that's kind of why we're here, right there. Big old uh, tule looking critter. Sweet looking fish. They're like a uh, big shiner mills, you could say. But uh, sick. It's my first one. First hit down. Let's get it. Ah, about one. 
Not ideal. One tulipy. One miss. That's it. If I could find a big batch of tulipies, I'd probably hit them pretty hard. So that's the mission. Josh and Mary and Bashley are behind me. These got the pan optics, so we're just gonna check some deep, deep basins. That's where the tulies usually like to go. And uh, see if we can find them. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, guys, time check. It's probably 1.30 in the afternoon. Tried 50 spots I'm on perch, tulipies, looking for burbs, looking for everything. But then I do, then I go and do something like this. We got the truck buried in an old plowed road. Sit a bunch of shoveling for like a half hour. Hopefully, let's bust this thing loose. Oh! Pin it! Pin it! We're out of there! We're out of there! <laughs> what the heck, man? We're trying, doing everything we can here. As you can tell, look at the sun is going down. What a what a pretty crappy day, if I had to say so myself. I uh, traveled a lot of miles, pretty much ran my auger out of gas, ran my truck out of gas, and uh, little to nothing to show for it. Brett did the same thing and same results, man. We, we pretty much went for the perch pound and we got pounded. Those perch turned us into suckers. So we're back on the verb spot, like I said, where we caught the ones last night. So I figured we'd come back right at dark, see if we can get a couple more. But I'm gonna try a little further down tonight. And I think uh, Murray and Josh and Ashley are coming on here too. We're gonna get we're gonna get set up and grease some burbs. So let's get after it. I got two tulipies just chasing me so hard. Yeah, it's dumb. What? Is this legit? Can you do two in one hole? Yeah, two in one hole. Pound pound in the bottom, up high for the tulies. Oh man. Yeah. Just killing the game. Killing the game. Feels big. Dang, dude. That thing is pretty big. Dude, that is a good one. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, we got a mess. <laughs> it was cool, though. Can you lip them or? Oh, there we go. Not uh, not the species that I'm looking for, but that was sick. And uh, now I got a mask on because I was uh, ripping two lines in one hole. That was uh, pretty intense. Let's see how bad this is. Okay, for how dumb that was of an idea, it actually worked. You best believe if I see any more of those suckers. I am definitely setting the hook. Got him, dude. Sick. Yeah, it worked out forever. Yeah. Just a Thule smasher. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a tuna. Look at that. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Settle down there, Holmes. I worked that one for like five minutes. He was just back and forth. Sweet. Just on the Thule grind. I'd say that is definitely uh, not something I'm a fan of targeting. Most of the time, I'm not happy about it. Good after today, anything that gives a little tug, I'm just, I'm all about it. Oh my gosh, dude. 
Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Just absolutely hammered me. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a hog. Another shark, dude. These things are tarpons. Oh, pumped about it. That's what, I, that's what I've been looking for all day. A good tulpy bite. Thing just sharded all over the place. There we go. Another tulie. Oh, 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 oh. Dude. They are pumped about it. My hands are not. <laughs> oh, instant. Oh my gosh, you just crushed it, dude. Are you kidding me? Got him. Dude, three of them. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about, dude. They're hammering. Oh my gosh. It's like a giant shiner. There we go. Another one. Oh man, this one's losing his scales already. That would be the tulipy, the freshwater shark. Oh, oh man. This is like the machine gun. Just, just getting it. There you, oh, oh, get it, get it, bud. We're gonna tuck him back. He's kind of, he's, he's having, he's having now. Oh, three on the screen at once. Let's go. All right, put the pout down. The pout and trout back in. It's enough of the, enough of the old uh, whiteies. My hands really reek now. Better give this sucker a little. Looking at the sky saying I'm gonna point this Silverado to Brainerd. Oh, got him. Oh, come on. Get that deucey. Get the deucey out. And um, see what we got. Oh, wow. Wow. That is um, abnormally small. It has not been a successful trip. You can say that for the burbs. This is my second leached lake burb ever. And um, combining the two, I might have broke two pounds. So not saying a lot, but I am happy to, to catch a couple of these guys. They definitely look a little bit different. Look at that sick leopard print thing. Woo! This thing is gorgeous. I'm gonna tuck him right back. Oh, thanks, thanks for the shower, bud. That is the only one I've seen so far tonight. Brett's missed one, and sounds like the other guys got one. Well, I should say, girl got one in the hole. I think I actually got one in the house too. Right when I told myself I was packing up and leaving Leech Lake. Bam. Burb on the line. Just getting back to town now. I had to charge a bunch of camera batteries on the way home. Because they're all dying out there tonight and it's pretty cold. One of the toughest days I've had in a while fishing. I probably drilled a couple hundred holes. Tried 50 spots. It was way too much. Got stuck. That was the only excitement I did today. Few burbs, lots of white fish. Those white fish are pretty fun though. They're like sharks. I don't get to fish them much. No, they're not white fish, tulipies. I probably said white fish a lot, but tulipies, white fish. Everybody calls them. I don't know what they are. I'm pretty sure those are tulipies, but that is definitely something I probably will do more of. Because they're a wild little fish, but um, that is an end to the Leech Lake for two days. Good time hanging out with the boys and um, seeing Josh and Ashley. Don't get to see those guys much, so. That was all good, and um, we'll be back. We're gonna go crush some burbs probably around town now. We might even go out tomorrow with those guys before they leave, but for now, I'm signing off. I'm tired, long day, getting stuck, drilling holes, looking for perch. Perch turned me into suckers, and now here I am, we're done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Marshall Outdoors. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We will see you next time.